all right welcome back to my channel i am the hood prophetess and i will be doing a reading today um about ariana grande um that is how you pronounce her name is grandy it's really not grande we just uh, assume that it is um <laughs> So, um, the reading I'm going to do, uh, the reason why I am doing this reading is because I'm sure I'm not the only one that has noticed. Um, I don't really listen to Ariana Grande. Um, I do know her work though, but, um, I'm not really like a fan and I don't really follow what she's doing. Um, but, um, whenever I have been seeing her lately, she definitely is looking quite interesting um health wise and um she looks different you know she does not look um she does not look edified <laughs> it's like you know spiritually edified or anything she looks like she may be going through some pain or something um this reason is not to like diagnose her or anything like that um just kind of check her energy field um you know what what is going you know just kind of see what is going on um she may be having some health issues um there's something going on with her because for somebody like you follow me you watch me you see the way that i look i, I look like 10 different people you know what i'm saying people go through changes and emotional changes and physical changes and stuff like that. So, um, from somebody who's been through things, I, I know something is going on with her and I can identify with it. And I just want to check the energy. And I know that I may not, I'm not going to reach this girl or nothing like that. So, but I just, want to check the energy and maybe it will bless you or give you something to think about or understand but um you know the reading is hypothetical alleged for entertainment purposes for entertainment purposes um and that's it so i just want to know where she's at spiritually she's lost um mac miller um she's had a lot of changes in her life in the past couple of years um but it just seems that after mac miller's death um she just really has not been the same and so i just yeah we will just check the energy and see where she, where she's at um all righty did i cut these already i think i did So the first uh, question is about where is her energy at right now? Uh, where is she at spiritually? Where is Ariana Grande at spiritually? Um, okay. So I'm seeing that she is very, very isolated at this time, or she prefers to be isolated and not surrounded by um, a bunch of people. Um, I'm really not even getting um, close family or, you know, maybe if maybe less than a handful of people she really wants by her. Not saying that that's all that is around her, but that's who she wants in her proximity at this time she prefers to be isolated and away from people um she does feel a lot of critique and judgment that is being placed upon her and um she she um she is having some sort of physical some issue with her physical appearance or what she believes herself to look like or be um she's also having issues with her like childhood self her herself like childhood trauma some things that are going on in her that that's coming up from her past um is now 
affecting her. Um, these are things that she may have not noticed before, but now they are coming back up and they are like mentally affecting her. Um, I'm also getting that she feels really, really alone and um, she feels really alone and confused. Um, even with the people around her, she feels very alone and that nobody is understanding her plight um, and the things that she's going through. And um, there is some information coming out about her talent. Hold on. There's like some kind of um, spark or um, some type of spark or motivation idealization that she's lost for her like gifts or her, um, there's like some, some spiritual loss but that's connected to her talent that she she's lost. Um, trying to do something she lost the motivation to do it um it's like she can't find her she can't get her what is that called like create she can't get her creativity or what is that like a writer's block it's like that kind of thing like she has some type of block um with her talents at this time and she can't she it's like she doesn't know how to use her talents in a uniform way. I don't know what that means. That's what I'm getting. Like in a uniform way or an organized way or something. Or however she she uses this or, or does her method, she can't find it or figure it out at this time. Um, so that's where she's at spiritually. Um... yeah okay so um does ariana grande have uh any support at this time healthy support no not really um she really doesn't and she might be on, she may take some type of pill or something like that, um, or have in the past or whatever. I'm also getting suppress, sur, suppress, suppressing, um, suppressing her appetite or something like that, or a loss for appetite. Or she's taking something that suppresses her appetite, some type, you know, some type of um, drug allegedly or something um, that suppresses her appetite. Um, and I'm also seeing her make like smoothies or something or make a particular drink and being like, oh, this is enough. Like she thinks that it's healthy or something like that, but it's like, it makes her feel like she's doing something healthy or something, but there's some type of smoothie drink that she like makes or whatever. Um, so, but yeah, I don't see that her support system is really there um, for her um, or that they can really help her really. I don't, I don't think that they can really help her. Um, she has to want it, okay? She has to want it. And does she want it at this time? Does she want help? Ten of Wands. Um, no, she, she actually does not understand like she can't process what she's going through it's like she's going through stuff and stuff is happening so much stuff has changed but she doesn't understand how bad it is 
um it's like she she's blind to herself um yeah she she's blind to herself um she cannot she can't they can't help her she can't help herself because it's like she doesn't get what the issue is okay um are there like drugs involved with her mm-hmm yeah she does something allegedly with some somebody a partner a boyfriend i don't know if she's dating someone at this time or what she's doing um but there is somebody that she's very close to that that's what they do and that's how they bond and um you know relate to one another and identify with each other this is what they do um so allegedly there may be some some type of drugs that are involved um with her at this time that is aiding in the dismantling of her health um will she come out of this will she recover and get better and get healthy again um I would say pray for Ariana. Um, it's, it's, it's not looking good. It's looking like it's going to get very, very dark before it gets better. And um, I don't know how dark it is for her right now, but it seems like she's in some a dark space. But um, it may get darker than where it's at right now. And um, she really needs prayer um because she's gonna go through some stuff emotionally and mentally um before she recovers so yeah it will happen at the end though there is recovery at the end but it's going to take a while it's a lot it's going to be a whole lot of mess here before she gets better um yeah she has a lot going on she has a lot going on um there is people that she uh believes that she can't trust um yeah and then there's these things that are coming back from memory like she's having um some some issues with memory i don't it's like what 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 has she tapped into what is going on let me pull from this deck what is what is she tapping into what are you talking about regarding these memories or whatever where what has she tapped into that's bringing about these memories let me see. <clears throat> I am the hood prophetess, bitch. Um, so it says child to eat um child eternal. Okay. So she is going through some type of like what do they say? What do, what do, what do these uh bullshit psychics and stuff do on here? Um your inner child there you go your inner child or whatever she's dealing with her like inner child that shit like she's on some she tapped into that shit um and and she cannot deal with it whatever that she's brought up whatever type of memories that she's forgotten or buried or was just very uncomfortable with she cannot dissociate or forgive herself with these things that have taken place and um it's just not healthy. It's taking her down. It is taking her down. I have this seeker here. She was trying to find a way to um, heal herself, but I, 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 see, that's the thing about motherfuckers on here 
pushing people to do shadow work and all that but i don't know what that shit is but people pushing people to do stuff um and they really need professional help they really need to to pull stuff out like that you need professional help to help you dismantle and process and go through and then heal it is such a process to fix wounds that have been carried on from gener past generations um to you know from childhood from fucking old past lives all that it's it takes a whole lot okay it takes fucking medication sometimes it takes goddamn hypnosis it takes all kind of there's all kind of methods out there to assist besides tapping in with a drug of uh, mushrooms or whatever now i fucks with it but there is a place and a time for things and there's a way to do things and um you you have to be in a certain state okay and um some people are not prepared about what they're going to bring bring up and bring forward and um this is something that has happened to this to this young woman and i really hope that she gets through this and that she's able to overcome because yeah and she was looking for something. It was like she was looking for some an answer for something specific that she was not clear about. And when she received the answer, it just took her down. But it came out. She started to reminisce and tap into her inner child or wanting to, I don't know, she was going within um, because she was dealing with so much grief and pain. Um, that have been accumulating over the years and um she was trying to figure out some things about herself and it just brought up too much that she just she just couldn't handle um she was up there i seen a clip of her up there with mariah carey and she was trying to do the whistle note with mariah carey and I just thought that, that was very interesting. Um, she couldn't do the whistle note. It sounded bad. Um, and you know, it, it was just very interesting to see Mariah, who we understand what's going on with her voice, and then Ariana. I just, it was just very strange to see. That was a very strange energy um, to see them to see the the prototype and like the replacement supposedly or not really but you know how what they would say about how Ariana was definitely inspired um by Mariah and just what like what is what is going on and what happens to because we also saw that with Whitney like what happens to one's voice spiritually that you know what i'm saying when they do certain stuff like it's like they just i don't know disconnect from themselves um it's very interesting something like that is a that's that's a gift like singing being able to sing the way that those ladies both sing is a gift so for them to lose their voices or not be able to do it's like what what the fuck happens you know it's interesting um hmm. i'm going to leave that there um i thank you for tuning in i am the hood prophetess if you do have some requests some interesting requests or whatever um please don't just say can you do so and so and so and so can you um, be more specific? Okay. Um, I don't know what the fuck you want me to do with so and so and so and so. Okay. Um, that is it. Goodbye.